My husband is 40 and has been in university for 20 years. Would that be a red flag for you? He gets paid to go to school. About USD $40,000 a year equivalent. The university offers a bursary for Aboriginal students. And he's been the only applicant in some time. He gets it every year. But he also gets age-based grants and bursaries. None of it needs to be paid back. He describes himself as a career student because he loves being in school. It's all above board. The university even encourages it. He has degrees in linguistics, history, chemistry, computer science, accounting, and is currently working on a physics degree. He loves to learn and to teach others. He's the smartest person I know. He says he stays in school because it's his hobby and he's paid a pretty penny for it. We're completely debt free. I think our relationship is unique in that I have no problem with it. Although I'd like to see him apply himself outside a school setting. But I want to know what other people think of it. It's not something I generally tell my friends. Just that he's in school part time and doing other things. His 10 hour commitment a week puts food on our table. We don't live in luxury but live comfortably. Seems like he's living the dream. Would love to do the same. It sounds like he's not amassing crippling debt and he's providing for both of your needs. Doesn't seem like a reg flag to me. As long as you're comfortable with it then that's an awesome way to live. Don't let societal expectations ruin something awesome. Lol. Actually sounds like he has a sweet deal. Being a forever student is literally my dream job next to Puppy Wrangler. 1. What country is this to? How can this be my life? Not a red flag. My only concern is whether you all are putting money away for retirement. Pile of degrees isn't going to put food on the table in your 80s if he hasn't paid into social security or built a 401k. Again, not a red flag. Just something to consider in the long term. I was on this path for about a second and I felt the society's shame on me enough that I didn't continue on that path. I'm exaggerating a little bit but what's not an exaggeration is that I now realize there really was no better path for me to have taken and I'm full of regret. You should commend him for his prescient decision and vision. And enjoy. How do I get paid to go to school? I want to go back to school. But I can't afford to take the time off work. At some point he's going to make a plan in case this gravy train runs out. What if he's not the only applicant one year? As long as adequate money is coming in I guess. When I read your title, my first thought was OMG. Yes, that's a red flag but then as I read your my. Now I wish I was in his circumstances. It's one thing if the student is incurring debt or working part-time not working at all and just slowly matriculating through an academic program. It's another that he's getting paid to go to school that's the dream. Sounds amazing. Red flag. People are going to downvote or whatever. If you're going to be in school that long, you better be a professor. Otherwise you should be training for a job and get out. I get paid to go to school too. But every day I dream of getting the hell out of here and working on something more useful. Only reason I stay is to get a PhD and vamonos out. If he doesn't have a PhD by now, he probably never will. That's amazing but seems insecure what if there is another applicant? And it might bother me to be a complete fee rider, contributing nothing to others while living off their money. I don't know that I would be comfortable having kids in this scenario. And you both definitely need a fallback plan. Maybe he could write a book. 
What I learned in 25 years at university. Good luck and best wishes. I would just say he's in academia because it's true or say he's a teacher. If it works don't fix it. A wise person once said to me. It sounds like he's living the life of the 1800s gentry. Just going to school and learning things. Nice gig if you get the money to do it. I might encourage him to take a hobby he likes and turn it into a side gig or a little extra pocket. Money. I don't know what the retirement scheme is in your country though. So I might want to check that out. In the US. That's what would F him in his 60s if he didn't put away any retirement money. I'm wondering how no one at the university has decided to report him for abusing a government. Handout. Seems like he is taking advantage of a social program and contributing nothing back to society. Yeah 16 years a bum living off welfare's a red flag. This is so stupid and just shows how corrupt the education system is. This money should be helping multiple Aboriginal students gain the skills and knowledge they need to flourish and be a role model to others in their communities. The university is not making any effort to recruit students and ensure that the taxpayers' dollars are being spent to benefit the greatest number of students. This is fraud. It seems like something which is genuinely designed to help the disadvantaged is being exploited for absolute financial gain. Here's the thing it's a one-year gig and not paid well. There's plenty of jobs out there that are much harder in teens of physical mental health that get paid less. However, at some point this gig will run out. It's temporary and the older you are the less valuable you're considered on the entry-level job market. So, this is not a great situation to be in but there's plenty other situations that could be worse. Educating for two decades off the backs of others while applying none of it to society and finding nothing wrong with it is definitely a red flag. Pretty gross IMO. Are you really concerned about red flags 20 years in? Your husband is taking away an education opportunity from a younger Aboriginal person and the school loves it because they get the money without having to put any money into outreach. Your husband could grow up, be a productive member of society, and help find a kid who could actually use the help. Answers on here are pretty crazy. Guy contributes nothing to society while actively mooching off tax money in the form of government handouts and exploiting a program designed to help disadvantaged First Nations people get a bachelor's degree for two whole decades and you're all cheering him on. Yes OP it is a red flag for me. You may have missed the red flag about 15 years ago and seems you have now settled. Ultimately I think it comes down to how much his education is benefiting the society and community. That gives him this opportunity. If he doesn't have a job, I would expect him to be volunteering or something as a way to become more production driven than consumption driven. But if he wants to be a lifelong student without giving back and using that knowledge just as a personal hobby and not to help the society and community. I think it's a red flag and a sign of immaturity. IDK if it's a red flag. But does he have any plans to fall back on? Does he have a plan for retirement? Has he been working on social skills in a non-academic setting like in an actual job? Does he have a backup plan if this program ends? Just because he has a bunch of degrees doesn't make him smart or a good worker. He needs to work on becoming a more rounded person. Flip side $40,000 per year is nothing. He should get a real job. Why would this ever be a red flag? He's being paid 40k a year to learn. 
A lot of people don't even earn that much in their full-time jobs.